Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on four set Venn diagram. It says that a cricket team has 600 test players who have played in at least one or more countries among South Africa, England, New Zealand and Australia. And we are given information about the number of players who have played in different countries. Okay, so let us first draw the Venn diagram. So four set Venn diagram is drawn like this. Now this is South Africa, England, New Zealand and Australia. Now this gives the numbers as well. So let us put these numbers also. This will help in totaling 211, 203, 290 and 286. Now uh, if we read these statements, Okay, uh, this is talking about some equality, two less, etc. So let us first put read those statements and fill in the data, which give direct information. That is the best way to uh, cracking these questions. That look at statements like this statement. It says that the number of players who played in only South Africa, only England, only New Zealand, and only Australia, 40, 40, 90, 70, 40, 40, 90. And 70. Okay, so this we have put exactly three of the four countries is 100. So these are the people who will play in three countries. Like they will play in South Africa, they will play in England, they will play in New Zealand, but not in Australia. They will play in New Zealand, Australia, and England. New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, South Africa. England and Australia. Okay, so they will play three of the four countries. So the total of these four is 100. So just putting these dots, so this signify that this dot add up to 100. Uh, now again, five less than instead of making equations, let us look further. Now again, some comparison equal to played in both South Africa and England is 97. So both South Africa and England means this region, this belt. Because this comes under South Africa as well as England. So this total is 97. Okay. And those who have played in both South Africa and England, but neither New Zealand nor Australia. So this means basically South Africa and England, but it should not have New Zealand or Australia. So this is this part is New Zealand, this part is Australia. So we excluding this, we are left with this number. So this is 32. Okay. So the difference between these two statements is. This includes South Africa, England plus Australia, New Zealand is also included. But this excludes Australia and New Zealand. The number of players who have played in both New Zealand and Australia but neither South Africa nor England is 65. So this number is 65. Now we are left with just three statements and using those we will try to find out all the values. Okay. Now it says that uh, the number of players who have played in South Africa, England and New Zealand, but not Australia. South Africa, England, New Zealand, but not Australia. This part is equal to those who have played in South Africa, England and Australia, but not New Zealand. South Africa, England and Australia, but not New Zealand. So these two are equal. So let us for now, let's put this X which in turn is two less than those who have played in all the four countries. So all the four countries. So this number is two less than this. So this all four countries, let us put X plus two. Now we know this grand total is 97. So we have three X plus two is 65. Okay, because uh, this is 97, this is 32. Now we get X equal to 21. So we can put the values here, 21. 23 and 20. Okay, so this is also taken care of. Now the next thing is the number of players who have played in both South Africa and New Zealand but neither England nor Australia. South Africa and New Zealand should overlap and these should not overlap. So South Africa overlapping with New Zealand here. 
but England is out of picture and Australia is out of picture. So this value is five less than those who have played in both South Africa and Australia, but neither England nor New Zealand. Both South Africa and Australia, South Africa and Australia, but uh, neither England nor New Zealand. So this is that part. So it says that the above value is five less than the below value. So let us say this value is y. So this will be y plus five. Okay, because it is five less than. This. So this is also done. Lastly, we will use this statement. It says that the number of players who have played in both New Zealand and Australia, but not England. So both New Zealand and Australia, but not England means this part is New Zealand and Australia. This complete belt is New Zealand and Australia, but not England. So this part means we are including this value as well. Okay. And so let us say this, this variable is A. So 65 plus A is equal to those who have played in both New Zealand and Australia, but not South Africa. Now this is New Zealand and Australia, and we have to remove South Africa. This complete thing is New Zealand and Australia. And we have to remove South Africa from this. So we are left with this part and this part. So let us say this value is so it says that both these values are equal. So let this value will also be a because 65 plus a, 65 plus a, right? So this is what we get. Now we have used all the information. How we get this? Now total of this three out of the four countries is 100. Okay, so we get 2a plus 42 is 100. So this gives us a equals to 29. So these values will be 29 each. Now all statements have been exhausted and we are left with these four values. Now South Africa is 211. This is 97. So this will be 114. Add it. Uh, 40 plus 29, 69 plus 5, 74. 2y plus 74 is 114. So this gives us y equals to 20. So this value is 20. This value will be 25. Now these two values remain. Okay, so we know the total for Australia is 286. So let's just add these and get the value for uh, this portion. So this is 29 plus 21, 50, 120. 120 plus 90 is 210. 210 uh, plus 52, that is 262. So we will get 24 here. Okay. And similarly, for this value, we will add all these values. Okay. So this is 20 plus 29, 49. This is 50. So 99, 99 plus 23, 122, 122 plus 155, 277. And this is 290. So this value will be 13. Then it was just about subtracting from the total. Okay, so this is how we get all the values in this Venn diagram. Now let us answer the questions. How many players have played in all four countries? This is 23. How many players have played in exactly two countries? So now these players are the ones that have played in exactly two countries. Okay, so uh, let us These are the ones that are played in two countries. So let's add these values. Uh, this is 45 and 20, 65, 130, 130 plus 49, 179. Okay. And then we have how many players have played in both Australia and New Zealand. So both Australia and New Zealand is this belt, the common belt. So this is 29, 29, 58, plus 23, 81, plus 65, 146. How many players have ne played, neither played in Australia nor in England? 
so neither played in australia nor in england means uh, they cannot come inside this and inside this part so these people could be the ones who have played in south africa only south africa only new zealand and south africa and new zealand both so these will be the people like we will exclude this part because this is under australia and we will exclude this part because this is under england so we remain with these three values 40 20 and 90 so this gives us 150 players how many players have played in all countries except south africa except south africa means they must have played in uh, england new zealand and australia so england new zealand and australia we see that there are 29 players that have played in england new zealand and australia so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions